Hi, it's Tim O'Keefe again with Spider Juice Technologies. And today we're looking at SEO and Facebook and the Facebook viral loop. What is that? Well, what we're talking about is Facebook is really what, in my opinion, MySpace should have been. It's easy to use. Any mom or dad or grandpa, as well as any kid, can use it. It makes sense. It's, it's intuitive. But until last April, Facebook really reminded me of, of AOL, where it had limitations. It was kind of like kindergarten for the Internet. Uh, and that's kind of what Facebook kind of had the, the vibe of. As a user, you were kind of sanctioned to their inner world. Oh, sure, you could click a link and leave, but the, the action was all still on Facebook. And then Facebook announced the open graph, and that's techno speak for sure. But what it means to you is a potential in, a viral increase in traffic. And I want to show you what I mean by that. Facebook has made it so you now you can get traffic from other websites to your Facebook profile. They've literally put their tentacles out onto the, the greater web, whereas before it was the tentacles, there were no tentacles. It was, it was pretty much all within Facebook itself. And so it's looking more and more like this viral dynamic also affects your ranking in Bing. And so, and since Bing feeds Yahoo, you now can get traffic from Bing, Yahoo, and Facebook, so it's sort of a, a triple for the price of one, which is why I'm making this video, because it excites me. So what's this look like? So we're at timokeefe.net. It's basically a, a site I set up as kind of a reputation management type of thing. And it's, uh, there, if you type in Tim O'Keefe, it comes up with some cool stuff that you know sort of kind of has something to do with with business but it's mostly it's turned into really over time kind of a cool thing of of just personal stuff as well as inspirational stuff uh for uh for my youth football team but uh it actually it's kind of like a uh Tony Robbins and uh, uh some inspira Jim Rome is thrown up all over this thing with uh, inspirational uh, stuff. It's kind of can get uh, kind of syrupy, but it's good stuff, and uh, it's 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 fun to to get inspired or whatever. And whenever I'm looking, I'll point people uh, to this if they they might need a, an inspirational uh, thing. Now, I actually uh, my last post on this is I was actually uh, uh, if you can call it on uh, on TV acting and extra as a glorified uh, extra and so I put this up now the point here is, is really that I'm showing here we have the ability to tweet and we have the ability to like this particular uh, post so if you like it you could click on this like if you're signed into uh, into Facebook and it will show up on your wall now even cooler than that is you can write a comment and it will show up on your wall okay now so what well let's uh, let's look at this for a second um, let's look at this if we were to go I'm gonna go ahead and like this and you'll see that it's gonna ask me to sign in okay so I'll go ahead and sign in and I signed in and it shows you here that I like it you like this okay now I don't so what we'll do now is go to uh, Facebook I signed out of my uh, profile and I signed in under a friends profile they let me use so that I can make this video and I went to Tim O'Keefe's profile right I'm a I'm my friend looking at Tim O'Keefe's profile and you'll see that right here is my like that we just did a little while ago right and my friend Stan saw the like come up on Facebook on my wall so he followed it and he liked it also it's a perfect example of what why I'm I'm talking about this. And then a mutual friend also saw it, Bob. So he followed it over and then he wrote 
this information kind of talking a little smack at me and so I wrote back and I said Bob I'm working hard so I can do those again and I know your marathon runs would make most kids cry now that shows up on my wall also and I'll show you how it it does that and there it is Bob I'm working hard so, so there it is right there on my wall on Facebook I wanted to show you how that can work because it is a very interesting uh, dynamic that can create some traffic and just keep the uh, the traffic going for you now what I'd like to do is kind of illustrate this in in uh, in this online video capture scribble if you will but play with me for a second and watch how this works so the reason this is interesting to me is because I've watched and, and like I said I've I've equated Facebook although I've been very active on it because it has fascinated me I've equated it to really uh, a glorified MySpace um, and really when they announced the open graph uh, that's when it actually hit me and it didn't even hit me then it didn't really hit me until the end of last year uh, during the holidays when I started really looking at some of this stuff and I saw that Facebook is here right and Google is over here and they all want to rule the world Google sees this deal here getting you know half a billion or whatever jillion people it has over the size of the United States in population and Google's over here going man you know it's taking us forever to get to this point and Facebook uh, looks like it's it's beating us in in traffic according to some metrics so how did the fight come about how did Facebook get so big well like I said I, I think MySpace could have done it if it would have been easier to use and, and uh, uh, not so childlike childish looking uh, I think Facebook's has been a very attractive interface but the problem that Facebook has always had is that it was stuck now when uh, if you look at the advantages of Facebook Facebook forces you to fill out a good amount of information and every time you do something like hit that like button now Facebook knows that that Stan likes Tim O'Keefe and that is sort of a vote for Tim O'Keefe okay now keep that vote idea in mind and if you're an SEO person you'll appreciate what I just said so what did Facebook do by open graph well what they did was they put their tentacles or their fingers out onto the larger web okay and so here I am Tim O'Keefe and now they're dialed in to me Tim O'Keefe now how did Google do that well Google Google had to ask you can I please put my tentacles into your world now how did they do that they didn't say it that way right they said I'll give you AdSense right you can make money putting advertising on other sites I'll give you Gmail I'll give you Gmail, right? So now they're they're kind of tracking you in in the ways that they can legally there, uh, and they give you all kinds of gadgets and tools and stuff that is really cool. Except they're data mining you and they're gathering information and they're doing what they're doing because they want to know what the behavior is. So they got their big fingers all over the web and have been right. We already know this story but that's how they've done it but they didn't ha they had to kind of kind of beg you <laughs> and and bribe you to give up your information and then slowly b they build a a dossier if you will on you and and that's why they have different things such as uh uh, these different profiles and stuff over the years they've asked uh, you to sign up if you have one of their Gmail accounts if you have YouTube they've asked you to consolidate that in well what they've done is they've put uh, you know your different fingerprints uh, all together so that they know more about you and there's better and stuff they can do to serve you better ads when you're on one of their networks if you're on a website that has AdSense out here, by the way, for example, and you're signed into Google or you have cookies, there's a chance they're going to be able to get 
um, you a better ad so that there's a higher chance you're going to click that ad and make them money and uh, and their AdSense advertisers uh, money. But of course, they're mostly interested in them making money. Uh, and so that's how they've done it. And Facebook uh, is going at them. And again, the big dynamic here is AdSense, or I should say Google, and having to uh, kind of have you opt in to get the information. The, the giant advantage that Facebook has, we've seen the the problem and how they fixed it with the open graph and the viral loop uh, the advantage is because they know about you they know you like this movie right they even say it when you go to profiles uh, he likes this movie he likes this song or this uh, you know he likes Van Halen and he likes uh, you know whatever uh, model right and those, that's your profile. That's your dossier on Facebook that they're building up. But when you start out, they have your birthday. They have your, and it's even cool that you give it because they'll, they'll put it up on the profile. And so people will say happy birthday to you. So there, it's built in that they, the information gathering is much easier. Now that they've extended it beyond their, their walls onto the, onto the larger web, now they're able to get a lot more information and continue to build that dossier and really extend their 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 network i would uh... and and this is why i've mentioned the likes and the uh... what the uh... the comments and there's other tools that that can plug in to facebook off of facebook on your website but the reason i mention it is i think this is the only the beginning obviously uh, you know let's face it the ads that run along here um, they're not exactly, you know, they do work, don't get me wrong, um, for some people in some instances, but, uh, you know, I'm not compelled. However, what if there's the new Facebook ad network that's on, uh, as an example, timokeefe.net or whatever. Um, that is now in direct competition with uh, with Google and, and I think I would not be shocked if that's coming that's total uh, uh, speculation on my part but it, it's it's a natural uh, I would think uh, and something I would bet you know to look for over 2011 and, and maybe beyond that so uh, anyway at the very least you have a nice little viral thing that can happen we just witnessed it with uh, Stan and Bob and, uh, jumping on and uh, coming over to this site. They would have not come to this site if not for the like button. Have a nice day. Hopefully you got something out of that. If you would like these installed into your systems, call us. If you like traffic, how to get traffic with SEO and the viral loop using Bing, Yahoo, and Facebook, you make sure you let us know. Uh, our number is 310-533-9145. How is that for a very non-graphical <laughs> uh, goodbye? Have a nice day.